Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Kistler. I'm wearing my winter hat and my scarf and I'm here with my snowman friend to introduce book number 67 in our list of top 100 picture books. <clears throat> Can you guess what the story might be about? It's about something we didn't get to see a lot of this year. The story is called The Snowy Day. Let's get started. <clears throat> One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, 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 his feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this, and he walked with his toes pointing in like this. And then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks, and he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. It was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. So... He made a smiling snowman, and he made angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow, and he slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow, and another, and still another. He packed it around and around and firm, and he put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. And then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought, and he thought, and he thought about them. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket his pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there, and he felt very sad. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was everywhere, and new snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall, and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. The end. There's lots of snowflakes for you. We haven't seen them in a long time. So that is book number 67 in our list of top 100 books, The Snowy Day. Bye, boys and girls.